I got asked by our priest for me and my husband to go to Curcio. I was a little hesitant at first. To me, it was a secret. You telling me I'm gonna spend a weekend at Camp McDowell. I did not know where Camp McDowell was. I cannot bring my cell phone. I'm a guy that's tied to my phone and my watch. I thought, you cut me off from the world and I'll be lost. I have real responsibilities. I really knew nothing about what I was getting into. So, yeah, I was pretty nervous. <laughs> the first time I was really nervous. The next day, a little less nervous. And, you know, the rest is history, I guess. When we first arrived at camp for Curcio, my first impression was everybody was very happy to see me. It's like they know something that I don't know. When I first showed up in the breezeway of the front porch of Pratt Hall, I mean, a lot of staff had these big smiles on their face with kind of these silly grins, you know, looking, you know, saying, you know, I know who you are, Charles McCauley. Everybody was really excited to see me and ready to serve me, and it was a really nice change. Curcio is more purely the work of the church, proclaiming the good news of the love of God and Jesus Christ, celebrating as a community of people, absorbing the joy of being faithful. But it, it takes some trust. It takes some willingness. You have to play along. It's amazing, starting on Thursday, how the program unfolds and how, how it builds upon itself. There's surprises throughout the weekend that just make it that, all that more special. And each surprise builds on the next surprise that builds on the next surprise. The surprises are gifts. They are very much like your Christmas presents that you want each Christmas under the tree. And you might not know what's in them, but you really do get so much joy from them. Because this is not about a weekend at camp. This is about changing the way you think about your walk with God. There's parts of it that you just can't tell people. You have to kind of take the walk. And I can't tell you what's going to happen halfway down the trail. When you realize that people all over the state are praying for you and preparing so much for the weekend, and you have this whole staff that has put together this huge weekend for you, just that amount of love. The Curcio movement in Alabama, in the whole Episcopal Church, is a lay-led movement. They volunteer their time, they come for the weekend, they, they continue with the Curcio movement after the weekend is over. I've always thought that Curcio is the best of the Episcopal Church, and I so wish I had experienced it earlier. It might sound cliche, but everybody comes when they're supposed to come. I've seen that happen over and over again. And for me, it was, it was when my, my mind was right, when my heart was right, and when I was ready to kind of take a next step in my spiritual journey. This is about you feeling loved. So just open yourself to that, give away control, and enjoy the ride. It's especially helpful if some of the fire has gone out of your relationship with God. If you're going to church on Sunday, writing a check, and going home and calling it good, you need to come. Cursillo is part of the commitment of this diocese to continue to nurture the relationship between the people of the diocese and God. It has been a remarkable gift to the parishes I've served, to the dioceses I've served. It's been a remarkable gift to me as a child of God. When I came back from my Cursillo weekend, I loved my home church that much more. I wanted to give more to my church. Curcio is especially good for people who want to be more involved in their parish, in our diocese, who want to be connected, not just intellectually, but emotionally and spiritually, to our loving God.